A troubled man once went to a sage and said, Sir, I am very troubled by my habits. I want to do many things, but I can't achieve anything. I want to reach the heights of success, but my habits hold me back. To be honest, I don't even know what qualities I need to be successful. I have come to you to learn about these qualities. Please help me and show me the path to success. The sage replied, Just as we are bound by bad habits in the same way, if we adopt good habits, we will be bound by them too. Believe me, good habits will help you achieve a lot in life and take you far ahead. So today I will tell you about ten successful habits that can set you apart from others, help you achieve the success you desire, and make it easy for you to get what you want in life. Don't just listen to my words and forget them. Instead, ingrain these ten successful habits in your mind and slowly incorporate them into your life. These habits will not only bring you success, but also make you a good person. Someone people will look at and say, I want to be like this person. The first habit is waking up early in the morning. If there is one successful and best habit that every successful person includes in their life, it is waking up early. Overcome your laziness and get out of bed. If you wake up before the first ray of the sun and start working to make your day amazing, believe me, there would not be a single challenge in the day that you can't overcome. Waking up early shows how much courage and determination you have and how much achieving your goals means to you. Waking up early means more time, more energy, and more effort, which will always give you more in life than others. If you struggle with waking up late, make a rule to wake up just five minutes earlier each day, and soon you will start waking up early. The second habit is to always keep learning to achieve your goals. This is a very good habit found in every great person who has achieved significant success in life. Always keep learning about your work. What we learn in life always comes in handy at some point. Successful people make various efforts to achieve their dreams and want to know everything related to their dreams that can make the path to achieving them easier. Always be eager to learn, even if it's just one line of knowledge. There is no shortage of knowledge in the world, but be restless to learn about the field in which you want to succeed. You might learn something that will give you much more than you ever imagined. To do this, you must always learn like a child. The third habit is to speak less and listen more. We have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen more and speak less. Listeners never suffer losses. They always learn something new. Speaking less means less energy wasted, not getting involved in unnecessary conversations, not appearing weak and avoiding unnecessary arguments. People who speak less have a greater ability to think deeply. When someone speaks less, they stay connected with their inner self, and their thoughts become so powerful that they can achieve any goal. The fourth habit is to learn to disagree and say no. You are not a puppet to agree with everything people say. You are a unique person with unique dreams, so your principles will be different. Your destination is different, so your path will be different, too. If something does not suit you, it does not matter. It's not necessary that what works for others will work for you, too. If you follow others' ways, you will become like them. You are unique in this world, so you have the right to disagree and express your views. Learn to say no to things that don't align with your dreams and goals. If you don't feel like hanging out with friends, learn to say no. If you don't want to be a farmer and want to do business, have the courage to tell your family. Forced actions don't last long and don't achieve anything, so learn to say no where needed.
The fifth habit is taking calculated risks. The biggest risk in life is not taking any risks. If you are not taking risks for the right things, you are putting your life in danger of staying stuck where you are. Remove the fear of taking risks for the right things. People's opinions, laughter, wasted time, and lost money are fears that hold you back. But remember, to live from birth to death, a person needs only three things. Food, clothing, and shelter, which are not hard to get. Therefore, if you lose what you have, you will still survive. But your goal should not be just to stay safe and reach death. It should be to face every challenge bravely and win every battle in life. Taking risks for the right things will never make you regret it, but not taking risks will leave you with immense regret in the end. The sixth habit is to understand the person who will spend the next 60 years with you, and that person is you. How much time do you spend with yourself? How much do you learn from your past mistakes? What do you do to improve your present? What do you think about your future? Do you spend at least 10 minutes daily sitting peacefully and thinking about what's going on in your life? Where did you come from? Where are you now? And where do you want to go? If anyone can understand you correctly, it's you. So take at least 10 minutes every day to understand yourself and reflect on yourself. The seventh habit is to learn to make decisions and act immediately. There are so many tasks that you keep postponing and so many decisions that are very important to make today, but you keep delaying them. Most people can't make decisions whether to do a certain task or not, stay in a relationship or not, start a business or stick to a job. Learn to make decisions. Any decision is better than no decision. Make a decision and try to prove it right. Once you make a decision, start working on it immediately. The most successful people in the world take very little time to make decisions and act on them. The eighth habit is to learn to use your time wisely. Time is something that continuously decreases at a constant speed. It never slows down. Nothing affects time. You can only move with time. You can't run behind it or get ahead of it. Face what is happening in your life today and keep moving forward by doing what is necessary. If you fall behind in the flow of time, no matter how much you try, you will never get back to where you were. Those who sleep lose something, and those who stay awake keep moving forward. The ninth habit is to always stay happy and smile. Don't be a crybaby. No one likes a person who complains all the time, and no one cares about them. Everyone has their own sorrows and problems, so why would they want to add unnecessary sorrow and trouble to their lives? Hide your sorrows and keep smiling. If you keep smiling, others will see a ray of hope in you. Your smile might help someone forget their troubles. Smiling doesn't mean you have to laugh all the time. It means you should be happy. The tenth habit is to help others. There are many ways you can help others. Try to reduce others' sorrows, feed the poor, and bring smiles to people's faces. A truly successful person is one who not only benefits themselves, but also tries to benefit others. So help others, do good deeds, and try to become a good example in your society. The old man said, Son, these were the ten habits that can help you live a successful life. Become an example for yourself and others, and learn, think, and do something new every day. The third habit is to speak less and listen more. We have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen more and speak less. Listeners never suffer losses. They always learn something new. 
Speaking less means less energy wasted, not getting involved in unnecessary conversations, not appearing weak, and avoiding unnecessary arguments. People who speak less have a greater ability to think deeply. When someone speaks less, they stay connected with their inner self, and their thoughts become so powerful that they can achieve any goal.